stop right now and I'm not gonna say where I am because I'm posting this almost real time so um yeah I don't want to say exactly where I am but I'm at a rest stop somewhere on the east coast um but I woke up super early it is still super dark I don't want to get back on the road yet and there's nothing for me to do this early in the morning so I figure I will make some coffee and some pancakes in the car. Um, yeah, and I'm going to do that with my Blue Eddy EB3A. You know what? Let me put some lights on. It might be better. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Okay. So I am going to do that with my EB3A. I'm going to make the pancakes and my coffee with my EB3A. Blue Eddy EB3A. See, I haven't had my coffee yet, so. But I think the first thing I want to do is make my coffee. Um, and I figure what we can do is also I can show you um, the performance of the EB3A using a mini rice cooker and a mini pancake griddle. Yeah, so we'll do that. I'm going to switch the angle of this here so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. That's probably better. Is that better? Oop. Oop. All right, so I'll just get the Hungry Jack pancakes. I doubt y'all can see that. Maybe if I put it closer to the light. Okay, Hungry Jack pancakes. So I got that. I'm going to put in some cinnamon. And... I'm gonna use hazelnut spread, AKA Nutella, um, to put on top of pancakes. And we will use this dash mini rice cooker to make our coffee. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that first. So I'll put all this other stuff over to the side and I'll grab my water and Put in as much water as I want. Put in the water that I want here. So, there we go. There's my water. Close this back up. Let me show you the Blue Eddy EB3A so you can see what percentage we're starting off with and how much percentage this EB3A is going to use making just coffee and some pancakes. Here is the EB3A, and I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this on so you can see here. Hopefully you can see that we're at 97%. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my rice cooker here to make some coffee. So I'll just pour my water in there, close her up. I already have it plugged in. I'm just going to press this button right here to turn on this outlet. And as you can see, it's already starting to have an output. So right now I just have this mini rice cooker on warm and it's only taking 28 watts. I'm already down to 97%. And this lets you know that if I keep this going at 28 watts being pulled from the EB3A, it will run for 8.1 hours. All right, so I want this to go ahead and get hot. So I will switch this to um, the cook setting. In the meantime, what I'm going to do so you can see just kind of how fast or slow it takes the EB3A to almost bring that water to a boil is I'm going to get my iPad here and I'm going to set the timer. What is it? Stopwatch start. Okay. So there we go. So I have started the stopwatch um, just to see how long it takes for the EB3A 
to go ahead and boil that water and I put it just like in this cup size see how cute this is I got this this is um one of the reusable Starbucks cups that you can buy there it's so cute I don't know if you can see it in this light but it's like a bronze color I guess okay anyway let's see how many watts the um mini dash rice cooker is pulling from the blue eddy eb3a so okay so it looks like right now it's pulling 198 watts and right now um that's quite a lot i have it on echo mode but it's already down to 93%. And if I keep it running at this rate, it would run for 1.2 hours. All right, we'll take a look at the water, see how it's going. Nope, just, just regular there. Nothing much going on with that. Um, it's pretty, let's see, just under two minutes. So I guess next what I'll do is I'll go ahead and prepare the stuff for the pancakes. So, I already have my Hungry Jack, my cinnamon, my hazelnut spread. Oh, I need to get the coffee out. Um, So this right here, it's really cool. Hope you all can see that. But basically, this is a Japanese coffee. Um, It's really neat. So what you do is, it's just like in this little foil packet here. You can just open it up. Put this in my trash can right there. Give it a little shake. Give it a little shake. Um, and it has like one, two, three step directions on it. So basically, this is what it looks like um, out of the foil wrap. And you just curve this part over right here. Pull this. Boom. Let me take the top off of my cup. And it has these little things that you hook around the cup and boom. So when the water is done boiling, I can just pour this right in here. So it's like almost a instant. Um, an instant pour over. Yeah. Okay. So I also use like these little handy containers. Um, I got these at a thrift store, really good condition for like 50 cents, but I'm just going to move this over here and I don't want to put any milk or creamer in my coffee. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go with two packets of stevia in the raw, hmm. stevia in the raw. Okay. Close this back up. Put it back in there. Right now, I have a baggie full of, like, um, reusable utensils that I've just got on the travels. Um, I didn't feel like bringing any silverware with me this time. So, I will get out a knife to stir my coffee. Ooh, and I can also use that to put my spread on my pancakes because I'm not using maple syrup. Okay. So, win for me. And I'm going to get a napkin out. Win for me because I don't have to use multiple utensils, which means I don't have to do a lot of dishwashing. Okay. I'm going to get out the little mini pancake griddle. I wrap them in towels so when I'm driving they don't clink all over the place. I don't like that sound. Okay. Alright, I'm going to put that back in there. Put that back in there. Can't do car camping without wet wipes. New. No. Okay. So, I have... Oh, shoot. Duh. Need to actually make the pancake mix. Okay. So I got this at the Dollar Tree, and basically what it is, is 
you can use this to mix stuff up. So you just put like the pancake mix in here and then you put the water in here and you just shake it up and boom, you have your pancake mix. Okay. Sorry if you hear people talking outside. All right, so let's check. Water is getting hot. It's definitely not at the point where I would use it to make my coffee yet. I need to be much hotter to make my coffee. Okay. So I'll put that to the side. Put this up here. Move that over there. Okay. And I'm really, I just want to do this to show you that, you know, you can be sustainable in your car. You can cook in your car um, without fire. You can use one of your portable devices. Um, I have my windows cracked just a little bit. Um, yeah. I need this for the pancakes. And I'm just going to use my keys. I'm going to use my keys to open this uh, pancake mix. When you're car camping, sleeping in your vehicle, always keep your keys very close to you. Just the keys. Okay, let's see. I don't want that many. I only want like two pancakes. So I don't even want a cup of mix. I'll do a half a cup. And what's nice about this is it has like the measurements right there on there for you. <clears throat> um, don't want to eat my hair. All right, let's see. Half a cup is right there. Okay. Let's see. Don't want too many. It's the only downside. I don't want to put on too many lights because I know for a fact my um, back curtain is not the best. I need to do something to my back curtain um, to cover my window. Um, I'm okay with the other parts of my curtains, like the other window curtains, the front curtain, all the door curtains I'm fine with. The side part I'm fine with. But this part back here, I've tried like, I don't know, three or four different ways. And I can't seem to get it right. At one point, when I had my first Santa Fe, Hyundai Santa Fe, I had Velcro up there. And that worked really well, except for in the hot months. During the hot months, it just like, it would unpeel the adhesive from the Velcro would unpeel and I wake up and this would be my curtain would be completely down so I got to figure out a better solution I might just go ahead and purchase some weather tech reflectix or whatever because I need something that's going to work and I can't keep spending money on different solutions because that's just a waste at this point I should have just bought the weather tech ones okay Let's check on the Blue Eddy. Okay, so the Blue Eddy is pulling 196 watts. We're down to 81%. I could let this run for another hour. Oh, 80%. And <laughs> let's see. Okay, we're at, ooh, it's been 10 minutes. I've been talking to y'all for 10 minutes. Okay, <laughs> let's see how that's doing. I'm going to do something really stupid here. I'm going to put my damn finger in there. Eh, it needs a little bit more. Needs a little more heat up in there. Okay, so. Yeah, I mean, it does take a while. But I do have to use a low wattage cooker because my power station, um, it really can't handle that much. All right, we'll check that again in a few minutes. Okay. I'm going to finish making these pancakes. And I also got to do something in these videos that's different because I keep looking at myself instead of looking at the camera. So, sorry about that. 
Just gonna put in a little bit of water for these pancakes. I like putting cinnamon and vanilla in my pancakes, but I only brought cinnamon, so. It'll have to work. <laughs> yeah. Literally what just happened was my, um, part of my back curtain just fell down. And now y'all fell down. <laughs> Everything's falling down. Okay, let's get this back up. Uh, this is pissing me off. I really need this to be, yeah, I think it's because I have my foot up against it. And that's why I fell off. I had something up against it. Ugh. So now if somebody were to peek in here, they'd probably see my foot sticking out the back because I have my feet towards the back there. All right. I'll put this back in. Yeah, this is like uh, one of my big annoyances right now is this back. And like I said, I really wanted to try to do it without any, um, without Velcro, but I think, I think I'm just going to have to suck it up and do the Velcro for now. I mean, it's not going to be cold here for a while, so, oh well, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, screw it. I'm just going to leave it as it is and finish this video. <clears throat> Hopefully my camera doesn't fall again. Sorry about that, you guys. Okay. Stir my pancake. Oh my gosh, why am I doing this? See, this is why I need coffee before I do anything. Because I'm literally using the knife to stir my pancake batter. When all I had to do was put the cap back on here and shake it. Good grief. That's all right. We're going to be all right. Okay, that'll work. That's will work. I'm gonna have pancake mix in my coffee. Mmm, my favorite. Okay, I am pretty sure. I am pretty sure that the coffee or the water for the coffee is done. So let's check that out. Okay, so the water is almost at a boil and we are at down to 73%. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for right now. Okay, so as you can see, that took about 15 minutes. So, and I'm down to 73%. So not the fastest thing in the world, but it does work. Okay, guess I'm testing out all the different angles today. <laughs> all right, so what I'm gonna do is I turned off the EB3A. I don't need water anymore, so I'll put that away. I'll move the pancake mix out of the way. Mm, I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon in my coffee. See, I did it again. I looked at myself instead of looking at the camera. Okay. Oh, I don't need that yet. All right, let me get my handy dandy. Ooh. And I think I might also need a towel for this because this gets pretty hot. I'll put it down here. All right, so I'm going to do this without um, burning myself, <laughs> hopefully. All right, so this is what you do. You just pour the coffee into there, right there. That's where the coffee is. And it's just going down. And this is the Japanese um, pour over coffee. My daughter and my mom, my daughter and my mom introduced me to this. They went to Japan and this was in the hotels there. And they saved some and brought me some home. And I am now hooked on this coffee. So there is 
a Japanese store in Northern Virginia, I can't remember what city, called Ibisu. And they have this pour over coffee like this that you just attach onto the coffee mug itself. And I'm loving it. Almost done. Yeah, and it's so simple and I really like it because it doesn't make a huge mess. It's not a lot that I have to clean up after. Which when you're car camping, especially when you're um, boondocking at a rest stop on a quick trip, um, this comes in really handy. All right, so I guess now we will move on to making the pancakes. So I'm going to clear this stuff off of here, off my kitchen counter, and um, let the rice cooker cool down. Usually what I do is I just take this out of here and I set it on a towel at a different part. Um, actually, I'll just set it right here. I just sit on top of the towel because that's really hot. It just needs to cool down. And all right, I'm going to set my plates here. Oh, one thing that I did forget to mention with the EB3A, it don't, does come with like a household charging cord. It also came with the charging cord that you plug into your car, into the cigarette lighter area. And then you can also use solar with this EB3A. So three different ways to charge it. And I'll probably make another video about that, um, but we're not going to do that right now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get ready for these pancakes. Okay. I moved the rice cooker out of the way and I'm going to take out my coffee packet and I'm going to put it back inside of the foil package that it came in and put that in my little trash can. Put a little bit of stevia in my coffee. Throw that in my trash can. Give it a little stir. We will save this knife for the pancakes. Okay. Oh, that's hot. Okay, I'm just going to move this out of the way. <laughs> Ooh, right there behind the blue eddy for now okay I tell you what that's fine I tell you what um, when you start camp car camping and you do things like this in the car I think yoga would come in handy okay anyway okay so I'm going to plug in my mini griddle here See, it's another Dash product. Just a mini, a mini griddle. All right, so I'll plug that bad boy in. And I think I'm gonna also restart the timer here. Reset. <laughs> I'll put this up here. You can kind of see it. And I just need one plate. I don't know why I got all the plates out. I just need one. See, I'm telling y'all, all this stuff that I'm pulling out is inside this kitchen cabinet that I showed in my Georgia video. And I'm telling you, that joker comes in so handy. You see all that stuff I'm pulling out of that cabinet and put it back in that cabinet? This little kitchen cabinet comes in so handy. Okay, enough talking. I'm going to go ahead and make some pancakes because I'm starting to get hungry. Really hungry. So we have the dash mini pancake griddle plugged in to the blue eddy i'm going to go ahead and turn that on you see that green button okay that's on and i don't know i guess for funsies let's uh let's see how much time this takes <laughs> to make some pancakes okay here we go so oh that was hot <laughs> Okay, that is pulling 345 watts. That's a lot of power for this EB3A, so I better hurry up. Wait. Get my little pancake mix. Ah, oh, shoot, I didn't bring my spray. Oh, well. Desperate times call for desperate measures. 
usually I have that little, um, like that spray where you, uh, um, you know, the nonstick spray. Good Lord. I think I'm only going to make one pancake. Okay. I actually think I'll put way too much in there, but, um, it's okay. It's all right. We ain't going to tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. All right. Close this bad boy up. Turn it over to the side. I need to clean this off. Making a mess over here. <laughs> if I wasn't filming, this would, if I wasn't filming, if I wasn't filming, I probably wouldn't be making such a big, huge mess. <laughs> okay. Gotta learn some yoga. All right. Clean this bad boy up. Need this thing to last. I don't want to get all gross and dirty. Actually, I'll get rid of this too. There's pancake stuff all over it. Ooh. All right, while that is cooking, I will get this hazelnut spread ready. I'm not going to take that off all the way because I don't want to attract bugs. Check on this pancake. Okay, she looking good. She looking good. She looking good. She looking good. Y'all see that? She fluffy. <laughs> Alright, put the cinnamon away. Hey. My rice cooker pot has cooled down, mm, but the rice cooker itself is still hot. All right, so right now we are a little over three minutes. Um, the EB3A is not showing any wattage being pulled. Here. So the EB3A is not showing any wattage being pulled from the pancake griddle. So it looks like, oh, now it's back to 349. So it looks like it shuts off at a certain point. The rice cooker, uh, that's not a rice cooker, the pan pancake griddle when it gets too hot. And so far we've had that on there for about four minutes. So let me check this again. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to flip it over. It seems like this side is getting done better. And I'm going to put that back up there. <clears throat> Hopefully I'm not making you... <laughs> Hopefully I'm not making you too dizzy. Okay. Okay, let me move my foot out the way so y'all are not like, oh, look at her feet. Okay, we're down to 64% and it looks like it's not pulling any watts anymore because that got too hot. We're about five minutes, so that should be enough time for a pancake. So I'm going to unplug. Okay, so I'm going to unplug the pancake griddle from the Blue Eddy. And let's eat some food. Okay, good grief. It's the whole thing. I will stop that. Okay, so the Blue Eddy is down to 63%. So, the water took the longest amount of time to get hot. Um, they say that you can use butane stoves inside, inside of the vehicle, you know, as long as you have the um, windows cracked. And I do have the windows cracked. I just... I don't know. I feel funny about having an actual fire lit inside the car. Anyway, okay. <sighs> okay, so we're going to do the little hazelnut spread on here. Don't want a lot because that's a lot of carbs. Yes, I did that. Mind your business. 
right that's gonna go in the trash all right it is oh, i just spilled it on my thumb <clears throat> all right it's time to eat um here's my pancake <laughs> In the dark, it doesn't look like much. I'm drink some of my coffee. Ooh, that's hot. I'm gonna have to wait on that for a minute. Okay. Well, I won't make y'all listen to the sound of me chomping my gums and eating breakfast, so I'll let y'all go here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoy this and you want to see more content like this, subscribe, please like. Um, it really helps me. Let me know in the comments what other things you guys would like to see. Um, and that's it. Have a good one. See you next time.